Welcome to the Daily Juggle Show. I'm your host, the Cool Juggler. I know what you're thinking. The um, the lighting is very bad. Tell me something I don't know. So, I want to go over a little story. Uh, yesterday, I went to a uh, went to go eat lunch. Had quite a big lunch. Uh, breakfast. Sorry, I went out to eat breakfast. Typically, I like to eat a simple breakfast, but this time, I went out to a restaurant and. Ate a, ate a lot of food. Ended up going to the bathroom after. I didn't go to the bathroom in the middle of breakfast, although I was tempted, but, you know, I don't want to make it seem uh, awkward. Because um, um, there's definitely a long bathroom wait. Uh, I was going to be in there for a while, that's what I'm saying. So after breakfast, I go to the bathroom, and um, I, um, I put my sunglasses down so they don't fall into the toilet because they're kind of hanging on my shirt. So I put them down on this little railing thing and then later on when I'm ready to leave I go outside ready to put my glasses on. Boom. I don't know where they are. I'm uh, I'm starting to get a little worried but I'm not too worried because I always get my sunglasses um, at the 99 cent store which they're 99 cent plus tax so they're about a dollar. And, um, so I really wasn't concerned. Uh, some people were telling me, oh, you should go look for them. And I was saying, it's all good, man. They're just a buck. But a buck is a buck. So I went back to the, I was thinking where I left, and then I realized I left them in the bathroom. Go back to the bathroom. Don't see him there. I'm like, gosh, darn. So I go to the lobby, which is next to the bathroom, and, um, I... I see the sunglasses behind the lobby. Ladies at the lobby, they're all busy chit-chatting, talking to customers, all that stuff. Hold on. Ah, yummy tea. And, uh, oh, that was good. They're all chit-chatting, and I don't feel like asking them, because they're my sunglasses. So I reach over the counter, and I grab the sunglasses. And I, I kind of felt like I was stealing something. But they were mine. Um, so I, I leave, I put the sunglasses on, everything's going good. I juggle the whole day. At the end of the day, it's time to hit the bed. Hit the sack, as they say. Um, and then, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes, at the end of the day, I feel like jumping on the bed and then going to sleep. That's exactly what I did. Apparently, I left the sunglasses on the bed. So when I jump on the bed, I land on the glasses and I break them. I don't know where they are right now, but uh, if I could find them. One second. Can't find them and I'm not going to look for them, so... Moral of the story is that that's an example of irony. Because first, I kind of don't care about the glasses. Then I get all excited that I found them. And I'm like, oh, all right. Then, at the end of the day, turns out I end up breaking them. So I should have went with my initial instinct and ignored them. uh, Rather than end up disappointing myself in a ridiculous event, which was breaking them. (laughs) It's, uh, but in times like that, um, you know, we can I can get mad about that, but I just laugh it off, you know. Drinking some cinnamon tea, ah, oh. some funny little. Ugh. Okay, so in times like that, I laugh it off, and um, makes me realize that we are human. <laughs> yeah. So, some of us out there. I'm a human. <laughs> Trust me. So, uh, I always think of movie quotes. Um, movie quotes seem to stimulate the brain, and uh, one of my favorite movies out there is The Matrix Revolutions. Okay? People out there will say, oh, the first Matrix was good. Don't waste your time watching the sequels. 
especially the Matrix Revolutions. I say that's the worst one. That's the third one. And, you know, I, why does don't let people's ideas taint your experience or your own opinion, you know? If that were the case, then uh, SpongeBob SquarePants wouldn't be the, the happy uh, hamburger frying fry cook he is today. Um, so, because he doesn't really, isn't very concerned about people's opinion about him. The, at the end of the day, he makes some flippin' bomb Krabby Patties, alright? And he enjoys the heck out of it. Okay, where was I? Here we go. So, this is a quote from the end of The Matrix Revolutions, which is the coolest fight scene I've ever seen in a movie. They're in the sky, they're flying, and then all the people watching are just uh, clones of the program Smith. So, this is uh, from The Matrix, quote, Smith, Agent Smith, here. This is... Alright, quote, Smith is talking to Neo. So first we got Smith. He says, why, and this is after they've, they've been fighting and fighting, and then it's like Neo doesn't want to die, okay? And Smith can't figure it out, so here we go. Smith, why, Mr. Anderson? Why do you do it? Why get up? Why keep fighting? Do you believe you're fighting for something? For more than your survival? Can you tell me what it is do you even know? Is it freedom? Or truth? Perhaps peace? Yes? No? Could it be for love? Illusions, Mr. Anderson. Vagaries of perception. The temporary constructs of a feeble mind, intellect, trying desperately to justify an existence, an existence that is without meaning or purpose. And all of them as artificial as the matrix itself. Although only a human mind could invent something as insipid as love. You must be able to see it, Mr. Anderson. You must know it by now. You can't win. It's pointless to keep fighting. Why, Mr. Anderson? Why, why do you persist? Neo. Because I choose to. Unquote. Alright. Um, so on that note, I'll see you guys tomorrow on the Daily Juggle Show. Boom.